This right here is a smart suitcase, people. It literally follows you everywhere you go with this wristband. Let's get into the unboxing. Wow, here she is. Look at this. God damn. Heavier than I would have expected. It's not too bad. This suitcase is a self-tracking suitcase. It basically follows you wherever you go through some sort of sensor, I believe, here and the wristband that comes with it, which I think is here too. Let's take a look at the wristband. There it is. That's the wristband right there. All right, we'll pop that back in there. This is a little case that comes in. Pretty neat. This seems to be some sort of power bank. Got this power bank right here. Not too bad. I wonder if this actually provides the power to the suitcase. And we've got the suitcase itself. Now, I can't remember the exact name of the website I bought this from, but it was around about 750 pounds. I think it was something like Smart Suitcase. Can't remember. Anyway, let's take a look at what's inside. There seems to be some sort of a lock mechanism here. I believe this is a fingerprint sensor. Seems to be some sort of a QR code that we can scan here to properly understand the instructions for this, because no instructions came in the box. There we are. Simple as that. Now oh, then it takes us to an app that we can download on our phone. But anyway, while it's installing, um, I've still yet to figure out how I'm supposed to take these little things off. They seem to be locked inside. There. Does it come with a cable? It does come with a cable. And this is the other bag here. Oh, it does come with an instruction booklet. So apparently the first thing we ought to do is plug this in. Oh, we've got to power the power bank. Okay, makes sense. So it is powered by the power bank, I believe. This is the USB cable that comes with it. Get the power bank. Okay, so this is the app here. It's finished downloading. And then we're gonna pop this out as well because we're going to need this to pair this wristband to the suitcase. This also comes with its own little USB that we're probably gonna end up charging. Seems like some sort of MagSafe charger for the wristband. And you charge it just at the bottom there and you connect this like this in it, see? just goes in there by itself. The only thing I've yet to figure out is how to get into the suitcase. I can't seem to open it. Do we have a key in here? Oh yes, we do. We've got a key right here. Gosh, I don't see that. And we've got what looks like four triple A batteries. I don't know why you would need those. And these keys here are gonna help us get into the suitcase. There we are. I'm just gonna pop her in like this. Twist. Wow. Look at that. It's even got these sort of Velcro with buttons on them to open it up even further. How good is this? So this is the Velcro I was talking about here. If you want to basically limit the, um, the angle at which this thing opens at, you just put on the Velcro like that and then button up. There's two dedicated buttons right there on either side. One button there and one button on the other side. And that limits it to about there. But if you're packing, and you want to go on holiday somewhere, then yeah, you want to open it up like this. Much more convenient, really. How many compartments do we have? So we've got one compartment here, one compartment here, which seems to lead to some sort of wire. So I believe right here is where we would put the power bank. So yeah, those are your two smaller compartments there. Then you've got the main compartment in here along with some sort of electronic device compartment, maybe for your laptop or your iPad there. And then you've got the main compartment to pack some clothes for your holiday. I guess for your weekend away would be the perfect kind of scenario for this suitcase. Wow, that is big. That is really big. I was expecting it to be much smaller, but that is a lot of room. I could probably fit like a whole week's worth of clothes in there. Look how much space is in that. I was not expecting it to be this big. Yeah, I could fit so much stuff in there. So those are the compartments. Now what we'll do is we'll connect the power bank up because that's what we've been waiting for. And we'll get the power bank here. Tucks in snugly away like that. We'll close this hood. 
and then we'll push the button like this. This is the on button there. Whoa. What is happening, people? Do you see that blue LED? Look at that. It goes all the way around. Right, key out. I really love this kind of like MagSafe connection. Really convenient. I'm gonna press the on button like this. Whoa. And this has somehow moved automatically when this is powered on. Back to the instruction booklet, where is it? I think all we have to do... Oh my God! It's already moving! It's already connected up! Oh my Lord! Yo, 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 yo. This is insane. I don't think you understand what's going on here. All this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna pop it down like that. Oh my god, she moved herself because the bracelet or the wristband was on the table here. I'm just gonna hold it in my hand for now just to demonstrate whether it works or not. Oh, she's moving! Oh my god! There's basically a red flashing light on the top of the suitcase right here where I press the on button to basically indicate that it's low on battery. The bracelet could possibly also tell you, but um, I don't know how to function it just yet. I literally turn the bracelet on and it's automatically connected up to the suitcase. Simple as that. I don't have to faff around with the app, even though I did download the app, the app didn't really do anything. Look at this, look how clever this is. Oh, this is freaky. Oh my god, people are going to freak out at the airport if I've got this with me. Look, my dog is sleeping just under the table there. Dad, what do you think of this? So cool, right? And this thing proper goes fast, you know? Wow, it also breaks as well. Like, that one's going really quick, but it also can break. Look at this. This is amazing. I'm not even doing anything and it's just doing it all for me. Because as you can see here, it's got four... Let me put it back a little bit. It's got one, two, three, four proximity sensors. So it also has obstacle avoidance algorithms built in. It allows it to brake, it allows it to accelerate and it allows it to manoeuvre around objects. My mind is blown right now. I think it's completely run out of juice. Oh, poor thing. I think I need to charge it. And to power it off, I literally give it a click on my wristband. That's it, done. Finish. I can walk away, go and do whatever I want. If I want it to activate again, I just click the wristband again, hold it for down for two seconds, and that's it. We're off and away. How cool was that, people? That is, what era are we living in? To have smart following suitcases that can literally follow you everywhere you go without having to lift a finger or do anything. Literally one click connection process and you're up and away. I am super impressed if you cannot tell. Like, I've not been impressed by technology in a long while, but this suitcase, this suitcase right here, mind blown, mind blown, people. I don't think I'll ever go back to a normal suitcase again after this. So I think in order to turn this off, I have to basically turn off the wristband like this uh, with a button on the left hand side just there. Basically every time you turn it on, these sort of mechanized wheels come out just here. So look, I'll pop it on. Bam, and it's ready to go. And whenever you want to turn it off, you just hold it for about two seconds and that's it done. And whenever you turn it on and off, the bracelet actually vibrates. Right, so yeah, that's my unboxing of the smart suitcase just over there. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I think that's the end of the video, um, but I'm gonna give it a full review maybe in a week's time once I've properly tested it out. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to using this whenever I go on holiday. It's a game changer, I think. It's gonna change the way people travel. 
But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and yeah, I will see you on the next video. Until then, I'm out.